Some older textbooks will say to avoid purple fall entirely with a very reduced ejection fraction. And I now know a little bit more that there's some clinical judgment that's involved there than just using lower doses and other medications and all of these things. But it is interesting to look at the dose-dependent cardiac depressant effects of purple fall. But another big thing that we do see is also the dose-dependent vasodilation, which then, especially right after induction of general anesthesia, where you've given a large dose of purple fall, to be on the lookout for that vasodilation and decrease in the SVR and then how you're likely to see a drop in blood pressure in relation to that. But one of the biggest things, which I'll hand it back to you, Chrissy, because you do cardiac anesthesia, and I'd be interested to hear your feedback on this, but we definitely learn with very sick hearts to consider dosing separate medications for induction for patients who have like an EF of less than like 25, something like that is what I usually see in the textbooks. What would you have to say about the dose-dependent cardiovascular depression effects of propofol? It's interesting. If you like read about it, I think that it's very nuanced, like everything in life. But yes, um, you definitely see the drop in SVR. You definitely see a drop in blood pressure. And for patients who are very, very brittle with very severe heart failure, if you give a normal induction dose, you can absolutely kill them. You do not want to do that. You know, traditional textbook teaching will tell you to switch to automate. I think that just switching straight to automate is not always the answer because automate also has a lot of really nasty side effects. It has a, a lot of issues of its own. You know, I think a lot of people really take a more balanced approach where you'll mix several other types of medications for an induction of a patient with severe heart failure. So maybe we'll rely a little bit more heavily on opioids or maybe we'll do a combined like inhaled induction of anesthesia where we're using our inhalational anesthetics through the mask in combination with some opioid like fentanyl in combination with extremely low doses of propofol and we'll just take our time and go slow and we'll just like wait and watch the patient go to sleep. 